Um, Admiral, you've been asking Israel to avoid killing uh, Palestinian civilians from this podium many times. So I'm going to share the statistics with you. On day one, there's 198 people were killed. On day 128, 117. So on average, it's 100. So either Israel not listening to you, or they believe there are no consequences. So which one is it, or is it both? You have to, look, I'm not going to speak for Israeli military operations. Nadia, you know that. No, I'm not no. to speak for the Israeli military. I'm asking for you, because you defending the point of view always that no civilian should be killed. So the number has never been reduced. It stayed steady all the time. So I'm asking you As the president. whether is, uh, the White House is message to Netanyahu, who defies every Democratic president, whether it's Clinton, Obama, or Biden, and you know that this is a fact, do you think that they're not listening to you or they believe they can get away with it? So As what the, pressure are you putting on them? That's my question to you. As the president said yesterday, too many uh, of the uh, many thousands of people killed in the Gaza conflict have been innocent civilians. Too many. And we have been very, very clear about our concerns with our Israeli counterparts about that. Um, and uh, I can't verify the specific numbers that you're giving me, but I also am not here to refute them. Too many is too many. Um, and that's why we're going to keep working with our Israeli counterparts to, to do everything we can to get them to reduce the number of civilian casualties. And they have been receptive. I, I, I understand that, that, that there are still civilian casualties, and that's unacceptable. But they have been receptive to uh, our messaging. They have been receptive to our ideas and our perspectives in the past. And we're going to keep uh, doing everything we can to, 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 get, to, to get those numbers down. Okay. Um, John, yesterday you said that we need to accept the possibility that some of the hostages being held by Hamas may no longer be alive. Does the US believe that all of the remaining American hostages are still alive? We don't have any information to the contrary. And uh, one more for me. Um, of course, any operation in Rafah would be Israel's decision, and they're the ones who need to come up with a, who need to present a credible plan. Um, but has the U.S., has the president, have any senior U.S. officials offered their thoughts or consultations on what can be done to help Palestinian civilians in Rafah? We have consistently shared uh, our concerns, our opinions, our perspectives, our lessons learned about urban warfare since the beginning of this conflict. But specifically about, you know, what to do in this case with where Palestinian civilians might be able to go in Rafah. We're not involved in drafting their plan for them, but we have absolutely committed to them our concerns about what that plan ought to be able to account for. Yes.